It's not acceptable by any means. That is Harris County Judge Lena Hildago speaking out about the county jail approaching a dozen in custody deaths for 2023. The judge says it is something she is concerned about and that she is waiting to see the Texas Rangers report on the latest death. KPRC 2's Rowan Belogan is getting more reaction tonight. Rowan. Keith, uh, the judge also adding that she's really focused at the jail population, saying up the street here at criminal courts, the judges there are aggressively attacking its backlog. However, they are barely addressing or making a dent in the jail population. I certainly don't think that anybody should have a death sentence just because um, they are in the jail awaiting trial. Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo reacting to the death of an inmate at the county jail. The Texas Jail Project reporting it's the 11th in custody death so far this year in Harris County. Let me say my, my heart goes out to the family of um, the gentleman that died and uh, it's not acceptable by any means. Um, what have we done and what will we continue to do? We've made investments in additional staffing and better pay for detention officers, um, additional career opportunities so we can encourage folks to become detention officers. Chris Gundu is the co founder Founding the executive director of the Texas Jail Project. She says, unfortunately, she's not surprised to learn of another death and now asking commissioners court to do more. We're only in July and we've already had 11 deaths. And I just want to know what the plan is from the county commissioner's court. And what steps have you taken so far beyond the pay grade and hire more? Those are the big ones. Some uh, additional funding for body cameras for the detention officers, uh, additional cameras at the jail so there can be better, better visibility into what's happening. Now, the Texas Rangers investigating this latest in custody death. I reached out to the sheriff's office for a comment on this story, but did not hear back. Live in downtown Houston, Robon Belogan, KPRC, 2 News.